up guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be another dead ass makeover and it's going to be a makeover of my little entryway so my entryway is super tiny but i want it to be functional so that when we come home you know we have a place to put our um like our work boots um i already put up hooks um prior to this video for the co hooks, so i'm keeping those I also put up hooks for our keys and I'm keeping those as well so basically that will all be included in this video. So yeah that's what this video is all about. It's about how to make your entryway functional and basically your style. That's one thing people forget. They want to copy everybody else and what they do but you also have to make it functional for you know for you and what works for you and your style. Um, yeah, because a lot of these like Pinterest stuff, you know, yeah, it's cute and stuff, but like, is it functional for you and your family? So yeah, this entryway will basically be, you know, our style and functional for us and what we need when we come home. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing I went ahead and did was remove the blue tape that I had on the wall. I had put that up just so I could get an idea of how big the mirror is. I always like to visualize the stuff I order before I, you know, receive it. So now I went ahead and did the wallpaper. This wallpaper is from Target. I think it was around like $30. Um, wallpaper to me is super easy to put up. You just got to have a lot of patience for it. So what you do is you want to remove a part of the backing first and then work your way down with a little uh, squeegee or whatever you call it. <laughs> That I ordered from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and link that all down below. But yeah, it's super easy, super fast to do. And I went ahead and installed the wallpaper on both sides. Since the mirror is going to be in the middle, I did not need to put wallpaper underneath the mirror, obviously. And because I didn't want to buy um, two packs of wallpaper because that shit is $30. And I wasn't going to spend $60 for um, two packs. So the next thing I purchased was this cool shoe rack that gets mounted onto the wall and it happened to be the perfect width for the section that I wanted to put it in. Um, it came with uh, two baskets that you just um, put together and then you just mount it to the wall. I thought this was perfect for our work boots because um, yeah, they were just thrown all over the house and I'd rather just have them in a place somewhere. And as you guys know, I do have a little walk-in closet room but I'm not gonna put my work boots on the shelves for display <laughs> So the next thing I had to do was hang the mirror up because I did not want it to um, lean against the wall even though you could lean this mirror against the wall with no problem. But since it is behind the front door entrance I'd rather it not be on the floor and just hanging up out the way. So I went ahead and drilled four anchor screws into the wall. I recommend these um, anchor screws to anyone when um, hanging up anything that's heavy. I've had no issue with them so far and they're just easier than um, drilling a hole, putting an anchor in the wall and then a screw. I just like these. These just screw right in and you can go ahead and hang the mirror. So I went ahead and did that with no problem at all. And then of course I had to clean the mirror. So now that everything is complete, this is the before picture. This is how the entryway was before, just a mess. And yeah, boring. So here is the after.
for this dead ass makeover. I love the way the little entryway came out. It's functional. It's us. And I am so happy with the results. Um, I will link all the products that I have um, used in this video down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also give my video a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I love doing these kind of videos for you guys. It's just fun to see like the before and afters and um yeah so that's it so thank you for watching guys